Right, the whole messenger thing messed up uh, the video. I had to do it second part. Then I went to defeat Nimzo. Look at the time now. Seven minutes past nine. I have just had an hour and a half attempt on Nimzo, and it hasn't worked. I mean... <sighs> I do not know what I'm supposed to do, but I just, I've had the worst luck possible, and I mean the worst luck possible. I mean, this setup is perfect. I did it before, but everything happened to screwed me over. So basically, Phantom, he's going to stick with Flame Boomerang. Well, he's got, for the first phase, he's going to admit there's two phases. First phase, going to use the Dragon Killer until he spawns in the enemies. Then I'm going to um, change the flame boomerang again. Uh, Spike's got an elven medicine in case he needs to heal MP, but I'll get Phantom to use chance to heal up MP that way because I need to do it like that. Um, oh god, I'm shook. It was the worst luck possible. Um, I can't even speak. I was that disgusted at it. But anyway, Isabella, of course, Sage's Stone. Sap of the World Tree fully heals everybody. Dragon Staff like usual. <sighs> Just gonna get straight into it. And my friend been bloody message me on message again. Oh, you need to, you need to come on. No, you're wasting too much time. Na, 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 na. Plugging their stupid crappy YouTube channels that they don't upload on on here. I just wanted to get on with this. I, I'm I'm doing this even if it takes me to eleven o'clock. I will tell you now. Anybody who also watches the World of Final Fantasy, if this takes too long, I will do two World of Final Fantasy streams tomorrow. But I will promise you, no matter what happens with this, there will be two videos uploaded within the space of tonight and tomorrow. Whether there's one, to one tonight, one tomorrow, or two tomorrow. But this... I've had the worst luck, and I just need to... I'm shook. I'm actually shook. With how bad this was. So I'm going to go over 2, 1, 2, 3 and 4. <sighs> I spent so long. Just literally, I wanted to get it done that bad. I kept him refreshing, reloading over and over again to make sure I did it. And <sighs> no, matter, no matter what happened, every move was telegraphed. And I just... I've, <sighs> I felt so sick to the stomach. It was that bad. Oh, I'm shook. I'm actually shook. I don't want to be upset now. But when it comes to bad luck, nothing compared to what's just happened. Like anything I've said before, no. No. They seem like excuses compared to this. It was that bad, and I'm not joking. It's... Nothing I could have done could have allowed me to be any better. Literally, I played it as perfect as I could, and it just... It just went to pot, but... I feel so bad about everybody living around me, about shouting as much as I did. I mean, tomorrow, I don't know if I want to have a break from emulator videos. I mean, I don't have to because it'll be a new playthrough. And to be fair, Dragon Quest 3 isn't too bad. But I just want this done tonight. <coughs> and I'll do everything in my power to get it done tonight. Because this has gone on too. This has gone on for too long. This is too much. And I don't care what my friends say. You know. They always go on GTA, I only go on that for the races, I'm not going on for their crappy little heists and crap. Because I've no, I've always said I don't like the game, and I'm not going to be a hypocrite by doing everything. I'm only going to do what I want on the game. It's about time, I only do what I want to do. Because I'm fed up with people using me, and acting like they're some perfect friend when they're not. I'm sorry about this, but... It's... 
I've had the worst luck, luck possible. You know, I can I can get this off my chest because they're not going to be watching this. <laughs> Expect me to watch theirs though. Anyway, I'm not going to bother um, in increasing their attack again. He should be nearly dead. <sighs> The first, the first stage isn't bad. Right, this is the one I wanted. Right. So, well, I'm going to buy kill Phantom, and that'll do. Oh, I'm so shook. I'm so shook at how unlucky I was. But I just have to set. I have to suck it up, be a man about it, because I'm nearly a bloody man in terms of age. Oh, idiot, and I have to get on with it. That was a misclick. Just have to get on with it. Do you know what? I don't need the stone of life anyway. So you know it's fine. You do that. I don't give a toss. <sighs> don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Just attack, attack. I'll get. The, I'll get the misclicks out of the way now. I'm shaking. Just like, like how bad the game treated me. I've messed it up. Literally one one misclick has screwed it up. Oh, come on, you gotta be dead soon. My piccolo friend. Yeah, some people said he uh, look. Well, his, his, his design is similar to Piccolo, but I, I, I heard that um, the designer of his look, of or at least this stage look, was the same designer who created Piccolo. I mean, this came out in 91, I believe Dragon Ball was 87, so you know, he'd have been still in his prime by that point, um, but you know. It's just, it's just revive spam at this point. But you know, come on, Piccolo, you gotta die soon. Come on, Piccolo. <laughs> this is a but I'll rather that this is a worse attempt on the first stage than earlier. But do you know what? I'd rather this happen like this. You know. Come on. You can do it. God damn it. He's gonna he's gonna go down now. You ready? No, oh, maybe not. Bloody hell, it's taking the piss, isn't it? Come on. That's fine, because I mean, it's just revive spam again, but... Do you know what? If the battle ends now, I'll be fine with that. Oh, come on! Just end already! You can't have this much health. Oh, why are you going now? No! Come on. Oh my god, why are you still going? The fact that he's still going is unbelievable. He's usually dead by now. Do 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 I think they've run out of revives to do, to be fair. Come on. Come on, it's gotta be it. <laughs> Come on! Jesus thank you. Jesus Christ. I would speed it up for my sake, but for your benefit to see it, you know. I mean, during the fight as well, it just kept on, it kept on freezing because they kept on messaging. But they wouldn't like it if I, like, I don't know, went on one of their streams and spam messaged. They'd call me all the names under the sun and say that I'm a fake friend or crap like that. But no, they, they'll do it, see. I know I'm spinning my life story, but nobody, <laughs> hardly anybody watches these anyway. I mean, I do put in a lot of effort for nobody to watch, but 
I don't, I'm not bothered, to be honest. If I end up getting a few hundred or a few K, I'd, you know, I'd be down with that. If I got myself a few hundred bob, uh, like every year or something, as a booster, that'd be lovely. But from, to be honest, personally, I want to get a job soon, to be fair. I'll still do this. You know, I'll still mingle everything in. Um... I know this is kind of like a dull reaction in it to Nimzo. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'll still try and do whatever I bloody can of here. But of course, I want to start, you know, prioritising now that I am getting to a certain age. You know, but, you know, this is that's the one move that pisses me off in this fight. He doesn't stop spamming. Like a heel move, and it stops me from it. It stops me from winning. It's that bad. It's not for now. I'm gonna go for that, and then I'm gonna go for a Sage of Stone. Heal all. Do you know what? I was end. I ended up using Barongo because Spike ended up. Not having a good time. So, oh, idiot. Phantom, Isabella, Barongo. <laughs> so I'm going to do this as normal. I'm going to buy kill Barongo. And I'm going to charge up. You never used that before. And then I'm going to heal all. I'm just going to do it like this, because I need to make sure I do it. I'm going to buy a kill. Yeah, Phantom. And then you do that. Are you ready for this damage? Bam, 3, 4, 2. He can get into the 400 range. But of course he has um, Disruptive Waves, so you know. He is a bitch like that. Anyway, I'm just going to do what's known as Spreadsheet Saving. Um... If I make this look easy now, I swear bloody down. It isn't. He isn't easy. I promise. If that if that happens, but I mean, it depends on what moves he uses and when he uses them. You'll see what I mean because he'll end up using disruptive wave now or something silly like that, or he'll use that and then most of the damage I've dealt will be for nothing. Not yet, might as well just no. It's because when I did it, I used the sap of the world tree, so the sage of stone pushed across one. That was what it is. But anyway, 166. Bang bang bang. Yeah, Barongo with the Orichalcum Fang is just absolutely disgusting. But he's very weak to that. Spreadsheet save again. Gonna risk it for a chocolate biscuit, you know me. <laughs> Pardon me. Are you gonna risk it for a chocolate biscuit? So of course, every time Barongo does go for one of these disgusting moves, he does have to take two turns. He doesn't lose out on that charge up though. That is a benefit. Um. So by kill Barongo. I'm just gonna smack him. He never did that before. He never bothered, I don't think. Um, you know, I'm going to leave save slot 5. I'm going to go to all the other save slots. I didn't use 6, 7, 8 and 9 before. But, you know. Buy, kill, phantom. Charge up. Bang. Don't do something silly. What did I just say? <laughs> I'm just going to laugh it up. I'm just going to get on with it, you know. Not get mad, just get on with it. I was shook by like how unlucky I was, but I shouldn't have kept on going. Clearly, it was just a bogus attempt. Do I want to go for this? Screw it, yes I do. I 
that'll do. Hmm. See so yeah, now, by by kill phantom, and then oh, hang on, no, 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 I will not. And then I'll whack with uh, Brongo. That's fine. Waste your turn, bitch. Got all these. I will admit, uh, five, six, seven, eight, and nine were all uh, grinding spots that I didn't have to do again, so I could just go straight here, like the next video I did. Um, so you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that so I can buy kill Phantom and then you know, charge up. Probably gonna use disruptive wave now anyway, but you know, or maybe not. This is such good turns as well. These are such good turns. Of course they are. Bang. Of course, because his final boss, he is going to have crap tons of health. But, you know. I was waiting for you to use that, you bitch. Anyway. Whack. I've still got the Sap of the World tree in case I need to use it as well. Um, that's for emergencies only. It fully heals no matter what health. Yep, you do that, mate. Charge up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That damage, though. Look at that, 736. It was like roughly the time that I started doing this. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I've bike killed both, right? Yeah. Bang. Bang. Whew, the pressure's on. He's just spamming that now. This is what I mean. He spams that and then he does this. There's two moves he always does that with. It's bloody annoying when he does do it. He does it with uh, thingy as well. What's it called? Uh, disruptive wave. He's gonna probably use that soon. There's, there's, I might as well prepare for it. Yep, because it's obvious sometimes. Oh, it's a saved on save slot 5, never mind. Kinda needed that for before this battle with the setup. You see, when I said, like, oh, I've got the setup, I already had the setup. Obviously, I just wanted to make it, you know, not sound, I guess, faked, maybe? I don't know, anyway. Do I need to charge up? I don't think I do, do I? Or do I? I don't remember. Let's have a look. No, I did, definitely did not need to do that, anyway. Bum, 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 bum. I'm going to heal up Isabella for now. I'm going to buy kill Phantom and then I'm going to charge up. Perfect. It's going well for now, but don't expect it to last. Please don't. Don't, don't expect much from me because... I can only do as much as the game lets me. It's all up to luck. And that's not luck. That's the game being a bitch. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, attack again. Sage is stone.
Mm, I'm not the best combo of moves, to be honest. I will save it, though. Bye, kill Barongo. Do I need to do that? I don't think I do, do I? I don't think so. Bam. I'm just going to play it safe at this point. Charge up. I hate it when he gets a double attack. It's not good. But that'll do. Donkey. That will do. Wait. There's no point going for the attack before the buy kill because it will come in afterwards. I don't even remember how much he's got left until he's dead, to be honest. Damn it. I think this is where I'm going to use it. Um... So I can keep the ball rolling, you know. I have to charge up first. You are a bitch. Aren't you? Yes, you are. Ha! A boss like him can't afford to miss. But when he does, it is Benny, Benny. A Benny Vici. So you're just, you're just being a. See you next Tuesday at this point. Now, now you're spamming it. Now, this is where the problems were caused, to be honest. Just He just kept on spamming the heal. Because he heal spammed. You know, I mean, I'm heal spamming, but that's because I'm supposed to. Final bosses aren't supposed to do that. Because it's not fair. I hate it when he gets the double attack like that. It's just, no, stop it. Didn't think so. Speed this up. See, moves like that when you waste time doing that, it's it's beautiful. But he's got to be nearly dead. Like, surely the heal moves don't do too much. Look like I care, mate. You're just, you're just a massive red fat demon. That's all you are. There's nothing to you, mate. You're just a chub tub. Why do I not remember if a Brongo had his thing or not? I might as well do that. I think it's beneficial to just do it like that. See, they just, it just spam heals all the bloody time. It's bloody annoying. Bang. I mean, as long as he doesn't reduce my attack, it doesn't matter. But, you know, whenever he heals up, it's likely when he's going to do it. But, you know... He always, he always does it afterwards, because it's the perfect setup, isn't it? Heal up and not allow them to get the same amount of damage done to them. Because of a crappy little setup. I 
I've just realised, like, this theme sounds similar to um, the Realm of the Mighty, the final dungeon of Dragon uh, Quest Nine, or at least the main story. Um, this is actually kind of interesting. But anyway. Keep holding on as my brain's ticking like a bomb. <sighs> Brongo's been by killed, so charge up. Oh, for God's sake. And then he, he follows it up with that. That's fantastic, that is. So that's so fair, mate. That's so fair. Do you know what? I'm so glad you did that. I'd never have thought of doing that. I'm not even going to buy kill a phantom. I'm just literally going to do it like this. It's the worst double attack you could possibly get. Pathetic. I'm still not going to do it. I want to do it, but it's just not going to happen, is it, clearly? It just depends how much health he, he heals up with the healing his wounds crap. I don't know, but, you know. By kill, Blongu, charge up again. So this is the point in the fight where it could be could go either way, you know. Come on, come on. Stop spamming, please. Meal draft, please. Stop. Or Nimzo, whatever your bloody name is. Whatever version it is. Whatever your bloody name is. Just stop spamming, please. Right, I need to uh, keep his MP. So, you know. Just in case I need to use chance, you know. How are you not dead yet? I don't, I just don't get it. You should be dead. He probably, I've probably done enough damage to kill him by now. It's just all his. Oh. I was about to say all his heals has stopped him. Oh, two hours. Two hours. Two hours. I am Mildras, the king of the demon world, the king amongst kings. But how could I? Nearly three hours, basically, but chopped down into about an hour and a half. This will probably go to. I'm glad that's over. I'm not. I'm not playing Dragon Quest Five again just because I don't want to have to defeat him again. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That is definitely one of the hardest final bosses I've ever faced. Anyway, I've avenged my father. I've avenged my mother. I've saved the world. And I've given the massive. F you to all the demons. Anyway, I am the Master Dragon. I am he who watches over the world supremely. Legendary hero Spike and his father Phantom. All your blood. Because of your deeds, peace has returned to the world. And for that, I thank you. Oh, just listen to me. This is no time for me to be blabbling. But some flashy heroics? I'm telling you, masquerading as a human's gonna made me soft. The Master Dragon. <laughs> oh, come on, don't be so uptight. Now, Phantom, your friends and many other familiar faces await your return to Earth. So I'll do you a favour and escort you down there. Besides, I want you to go visit the human world again. Well, I'll be waiting for you outside, alright?
Let's go. Bloody hell. This is definitely one of the hardest games I've ever played as well, but... There you are. Come on, get on my back. So this is pretty cool. Hang on tight or you just might fall off. So this is like the ending to Final Fantasy 3 when you go around all the different villages and towns and stuff. Pretty cool. I see. So you did finally meet your mother, even though it was just that once. When I close my eyes, I can almost see the lady's smiling face when she first laid eyes on you. We always had the utmost respect for your mother, the Lady Martha. I'm sure that she will live forever within your heart. Yeah, they say the same thing. So, yeah. do, 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 do. The peace that has settled over the land can only be attributed to your hands. Thank you so much. So you go to the main points of interest. Obviously, you're going to go to Reinhardt, Salabonna, <coughs> etc, etc. And of course, this is all automatic as well. <laughs> But who would have guessed your son turning out to be the legendary hero and all? I guess the old saying was right, the apple really doesn't fall too far from the tree, does it? Oh no, Henry, I don't think I've ever seen you talk to Phantom like that. Bianca would be so proud. Oh yeah, hey man. Bianca really is something, huh? Too good for him, he thinks. At any rate, the world's at peace and the citizens of Reinhardt are doing some celebrating. Hehe, <laughs> I get to gloat about being your friend and all. And hey, it's true, we've gone through a lot together. I hope we remain friends for a long time. From the moment I met you, I knew that you were just like, n not like the others. Besides, you're Lord Henry's friend after all. Damn right. And he can f put up a fight. Your noble efforts have saved our lands. Thank you so very much. As the King of Reinhardt, on behalf of all my people, I thank you. Lord Phantom, no, you are Granvania's King Phantom. Had I had my own way, I would wish to keep you here, but surely at Granvania, your own people are anxiously awaiting your return. Please be careful always. Thank you very much. Please be careful on your journey. And here we go. Oh, welcome back to the village of Santa Rosa. Phantom, you know that day you left this village with Pappas? I remember that as thought it was yesterday. As though it was yesterday, sorry. No one ever thought that you would both disappear from that day on. But here you are now, well and alive and back with us. And bringing us the gift of world peace to boot. I'm so happy Phantom has come back to us. Hooray, hooray. I think it's been fixed as well, because obviously there's like loads of poison and stuff everywhere. Everything was wrecked. This Pappas' old home, while he stayed here, is back to normal. wonder if he's still feeling chilly. Welcome, this is the village of Santa Rosa. You don't think I already know that, mate? <coughs> God. Ugh. That's one of the worst final boss battles I've ever, like, endured and witnessed. I mean, that's a, about three hours worth of attempts is how long it took me to do it before. But, you know, it's just... It's just ridiculous. I've never seen something so horrible. Joy cookies, all's right with the world. I can't believe it that you could defeat the Demon Lord and restore peace. But then again, it was you, Phantom, and your children. You amaze me still. I just wish you had married Flora back then. But that is a thing of the past. And today's today, and there has been no happier day than I can remember. Yes, mate. Gratitude. He's showing gratitude even though he didn't get the outcome he wanted. With Phantom marrying his daughter. He dealt with it. So you do, you deal with it. I sucked it up with that fight and I dealt with it. Some people wouldn't be able to do that. Some people would give up. 
but people that know me well know that I don't give up. It could, that could have been the problem, because I could have been doing it till midnight, and I would have been still sat here doing it. But, you know. I see, so you've actually defeated the great demon lord. But even better than that, you've brought your family to visit me. I've never been so happy. But we can talk of such things later. You can stay for a while, can't you? Well, actually... What? The people of Granvania are actually waiting the return of their king? That means, Phantom, you're a, a king? Oh, very well. I suppose I should let you return to your people. Oh, father, we'll definitely come visit you later. You can come visit, but don't come running to me each time you get into a fight with Phantom. Wah! So, of course, I promised him I'd never tell that Bianca's not, you know, the real... Well, he's not the real father of Bianca, but, you know. Woof, woof. Or is that a cat? Can't tell. So either meow or woof woof. I think go back to Grand Varnia now. And this is it, the end. After all of that. Bloody hell. Just look how far out it is compared to everywhere else. It's ridiculous. And here we are. Oh, King Phantom, welcome home, sire. No, oh, yeah, I still have to walk. I forgot about that. I still can't believe that peaceful times are here to stay. Thank you so much. This is Reader's Shop. How may I help you today? Not like you ever need to use my services again. Way to go, Your Highness. I mean, she probably doesn't really like being out of business, but because it saved the world, she's probably not fussed. She can find another job. Oh, King Phantom, you have no idea how much pride your deeds have brought to uh, this humble Granvanian citizen. Yippee, the King has finally returned. Oh, Your Highness, I'm so happy. <coughs> oh, that was actually a pretty good hick I did there, anyway. Our uh, once king, Lord Pappas, was a truly a great king, and we thought what none could ever surpass him. But Lord Phantom, you have no doubt just done that. I mean, Pappas, out of respect for me, admitted that as well. La 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 la, the demon world has been destroyed, and peace has come at last. Way to go, Spike, our legendary hero. Legendary. Come on, your highness, sing along. La la la. Ah, oh, it's good old Barongo. My man. Oh, King Phantom, you have no idea how much pride your deeds have brought out. Oh, you've just saying the same thing. <coughs> the world's at peace and Lady Bianca's so damn beautiful. I don't think I'd ever been happier than today. I'm glad you're happy, mate. Hooray, hooray, hooray for King Phantom. Cheers for Queen Bianca. Hooray for Prince Spike. Yippee for Princess Isabella. Wow, I never get tired of seeing people celebrating and rejoicing. Maybe I'll give have a pint too. <coughs> Woo! Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Who am I? Don't tell me you don't recognise me, Phantom. It's me, Persan, remember now? Ah, uh, humans truly are a good breed. <laughs> I think the events of Dragon Quest IV sent him a bit loopy. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Well, well, my lord, I see that even these monsters helped you in, our, in your battle. This just proves that all creatures, great or small, are God's children. I do like the fact that you can use monsters though in this game. I mean, Barongo is too damn good. He destroyed Mildraff in the end. Slash Nimzo, of course. I'm going to put it down as Nimzo in the description. Because Nimzo is how he's known now. This was just the fan base. Obviously, before the English dubs, everybody would have said that, but you know. Young Master, I mean King Phantom, welcome back home. Your great actions in the field and your accomplishments fill me with such joy. It's been so long now since your father and I escaped the palace that night. To think that something like this could happen, it must be a dream. But for now, King Phantom, everyone is waiting for you. The double throne. That Pappas and Marvy, Martha used to sit on. I'm actually glad to be done with this now. Tonight has been a, a home wreck. It's been a train crash, basically. Doo, 
do, 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 do. And if you recognise this iconic Dragon Quest theme, yes, it is from this Dragon Quest. Do, 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 do. It's also in the beginning, but you might not notice that. Lovely. I'm surprised my phone's on 42%. I've been on it for nearly three hours now. You hear a mystical voice from the skies. Here we go. Oh, husband, can you see how happy our children are? Of course I can. Our children were able to craft reality from what were only dreams to us. Now come to me, my love. Yes, my husband. What a way to end the game, man. Whew. Damn, that final fight. It doesn't matter how good you are at RPGs. You can play as many RPGs as I've played. You will find that difficult. I don't care what anybody says. Like, if you complete the DS version, I don't care. Like... The DS version is like will be like a vanilla version compared to this. And up he goes. Goodbye, Master Dragon. I salute you. So, that marks the end of this playthrough of Dragon Quest V. And in the next episode, I'm going to turn the light on quickly. I will be... Uh, well, not in the next episode, but the next playthrough, I'll be going through Dragon Quest V. Uh, Dragon Quest V, uh, Dragon Quest III, which is the first in the timeline, and it tells you the story of Erdrick, uh, uh, who is referenced across loads of the Final Fantasies and plays a very important role in the storyline of Dragon Quest XI, especially the post game element, uh, because they have like loads of flashback stuff. Well, and the end game segment. Uh, but yes, it's the first in the timeline, and it explains the events of 1 and 2. Obviously, I haven't played 1 yet, and if you haven't seen or played 1, it won't make sense. Um, but, you know, that's just the way it goes. I mean, I will be doing 1, and hopefully I'll be able to do 2, but I need to go through 2 again properly. Um, but, you know... It's the way it is. Now, because of how long it's taken, I'm actually uh, getting my stream ready as I do this outro. Because of, uh, you know, I should have already done the stream by now, to be honest. I was like, oh, let's get it done between eight. Well, let's get it, try and get it done for eight. It was like, what, half seven? I was hoping to, like, get it done by eight. Realistically, I'd have probably done it about quarter past half eight. But that would have been fine. But, you know, this, this was ridiculous. Hopefully, no final bosses are as... Bottom me as bad as this in the future. Because if so, my god. But yeah, I hope you have uh, enjoyed the playthrough nonetheless. Luckily, I didn't really rage or anything. Uh, do my, well, obviously, the beginning of this second half, I did kind of have a bit of a rant. Uh, but, you know, and I, I just got, I'm just going to tell you now as well, that literally... As I'm as I'm loading up World of Final Fantasy right now, I'm getting spammed with party invites. So like, oh, skip, skip out of the stream. You know, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, you know, I've got it ready, uh, but of course I still want to do the outro. So, you know, I haven't really got much else to say. But I hope you have enjoyed this playthrough because like this game is fantastic. Yes, the final boss is absolutely disgusting, but my God, is it good? Jesus Christ. Anyway. Yeah, there's not really much else I can say, so I guess I'll uh, leave you to enjoy seeing the Zenithian castle fly around the world map again. Chip, it's still going. Oh, 1992. I thought it was 91. Never mind, but yeah. 91. Oh, 92. 
a very long time. Look at all these crappy messages stuff. Look at that. Ugh. Anyway, there we go. And it ascends back up where the tower is, of course. Now I'll unfast forward it. And obviously, this is what you saw in the beginning of the game. So this is good cyclical structure. Well, they showed the, the they showed the castle like quite big on the screen, and then you had the clouds on the bottom. But yeah, I, I believe this connects to uh, Dragon Quest Four because there's an Ethian castle in both, and the Ethian castle has fell, and I think it does fall in four. This, but that I'm spoiling it for myself there because I don't know yet. I mean, I'm near the end, but yeah. Anyway, that is it. I hope you have enjoyed the playthrough, and I will see you tomorrow for Dragon Quest Three.